Hey everyone, it's Liz from Thrust Flight. I'm here to show you the 172 pre-flight interior and exterior. Today we'll be using the G1000 172. Check to make sure all your documents are present, including your POH, your weight and balance certificate, your airworthiness certificate, and the registration certificate. These also expire every 36 calendar months, so check that it's within date. Remove the control wheel lock. Magnetos need to be in the off position. Avionics bus one and two should be off. Then turn on the alternator and battery master switch. Next, check the lights for operation. The beacon, nav lights, strobe lights, and landing light. Check the position light, the strobe light, Check the beacon, check the tail position light, check the right strobe and right position light, check the landing and taxi light on the right wing, check the landing and taxi light on the left wing. Verify the PFD came on, then check fuel quantity for each tank and enunciator shown. Turn on avionics bus one and listen for the cooling fan. Turn off and do the same test for avionics bus two with the aft avionics fan. And turn off. Next, reset the fuel computer level. So come press the engine tab, the system soft key, and then reset fuel. Test the pitot heat by turning on. Check the pitot heat warms within 30 seconds. Check the low volts enunciator is shown. Next, lower the flaps. Turn off the interior lights and pitot heat switch. Next, turn off the master battery and alternator. Align the elevator trim with the takeoff position indicator. Place the fuel selector on both. Ensure the alternate static air is in. Check the fire extinguisher is present and in the green arc. All right, so we just completed the interior check. Uh, the first item on the exterior pre-flight check is the baggage door. We're going to check to make sure that this is secure uh, and that uh, the door is fully closed and latched. Next, we examine the fuselage, checking the underside and the tail tie down being removed. Next, we're going to check our control surfaces on the tail. So we'll start with the horizontal stabilizer, checking the leading edge and overall condition. Then we check our elevator and rudder surfaces for freedom of movement and overall condition. Next, we check our static wicks. There's a total of six static wicks on the tail that we check for condition. Next, we'll inspect our navigation antennas for overall condition. The next item we'll check is our elevator trim tab for overall security and condition. Next, we check the horizontal stabilizer and the vertical stabilizer from this side of the fuselage. Next, we'll check our remaining antennas, our ELT antenna, our two communication antennas, as well as our GPS antennas, and the outside air temperature probe. We'll also check the antennas underneath the aircraft's fuselage. Check the marker beacon antenna and transponder. It's also important to inspect the overall condition of the fuselage on the right side. Next, we'll check the right wing flap for overall condition and security. Make sure to check the connecting rod for the flaps. It should move slightly. Next, we'll check our right aileron. We're going to check for direction of movement, comparing to the other wing, and overall condition and security, including the connecting rod and counterweights. 
We've also got two more static wicks that we'll check condition and security. Next, we'll inspect the wing tip for condition and do a scan down the leading edge of our wing. Next, conduct a visual inspection of the angle of attack transducer. If there's a tie down, make sure to remove it and then come inspect the tire. We're inspecting the right strut for overall condition, the tire for wear and condition, as well as the brake pad. It's important to take a fuel sample from each fuel sump located under the wing. There are five sumps on the right wing. Here, 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 and finally here. To take a sample, you'll simply depress the fuel sump with your sample cup. The fuel sample should be blue in color for 100 low lead and also free of debris and water. Next, you'll check the fuel quantity. And we'll release the cap and visually check for total quantity. Next, secure the cap and make sure it's secured tightly. Next, we'll check the overall condition of our nose cowling and also the oil quantity. The oil should be at six quarts approximately. Next, secure the oil dipstick, ensuring not to over tighten it. Next, we'll take a fuel sample from under the nose. There are three fuel sumps to sample, located here, here, and here. We'll also check the nose tire for overall condition and wear, and the nose strut and connectors. We'll check our exhaust for overall condition and security. Next, we'll check our propeller spinner, both propeller blades for nicks and overall condition, each air intake, and the air filter. In the left air intake, we're also gonna check our alternator belt. It should be tight and secure. Next, we'll check the overall condition of our nose cowling on the left side and our static source. Next, we'll inspect the leading edge of our wing. Check the pitot tube that the cover is removed and the intake is clear. Check the stall warning vein. If there's a tie down connected, go ahead and remove it. Next, check the left strut for overall condition, the left tire for condition and wear, and the left brake pad. We'll also sample and test the fuel on the left wing. There are five fuel sumps to sample. Here. 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 And here. Check the wing tip for overall condition and move your way towards the back of the wing for the aileron check. Check the aileron for freedom of movement compared to the other wing and overall condition. Again, including the connecting rod and the counterweights. Next, check the two static wicks on the left wing for condition and security. Next, check the left wing flap for condition and security including the connecting rod on this side of the aircraft. Check the left wing quantity with a visual inspection. Replace the cap and fasten tightly. That wraps up the Cessna 172 pre-flight video. If you have questions about what you saw or the aircraft, Leave it in the comments below. And if you liked what you saw, subscribe or ring the bell so you don't miss out on future videos.